What's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're going to be talking about frequency distribution. Now frequency distribution is a statistical tool that is used to identify how many times a specific value occurs and this is great for analyzing data to find the least and the most uh, values that are common with inside of the data set including any outliers and so there's several ways to do this I'm going to show you how to create a column that identifies the length of a text field to identify kind of the distribution of that specific value uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this but I'm also going to show you inside of the column profiling tool how to do this without adding to your data model so let's go ahead and get started so here we are in the power query editor and I have some basic information here so I just have the column one here and it just has the letters a b a b c and so on and so the first thing I want to do is show you how to add a column to identify the distribution of let's say the length of this lettering and so if you go to add column here at the top so we'll go to add column and then we're going to go to extract and so what extract is going to do is going to allow us to identify the length of this text field and there's a lot of different scenarios that we can um, identify the frequency distribution for once again the purpose is to identify how frequently these values are going to be occurring and so if I'm going to be looking at the length here I'm just going to choose the length it's going to add a column here and as we take a look here we can see that a is just one character and so we can kind of see a distribution we'll be able to see how many times that one value occurred and two three four and so on all the way up to nine now in a previous video I also showed you that there is a distribution attribute that you we can see here if I go to view and notice there is a column distribution under data preview I can actually get a preview of this column one as well rather than just creating a column so there's another way that I can look at that distribution so I can go ahead and turn that on and it gives me a little bit more information here that there are nine distinct values um, but the problem with this is it doesn't really give me granular detail as to what's going on here I can't really see how many values there are I can't tell that it's one two three four and so on it just gives me kind of the distribution and what it looks like but one thing that you can do here is if we can select column one here and we're going to go ahead and choose this column profile and we're going to turn that on we're going to see a different kind of distribution so we'll see similar distribution down here at the bottom it's going to give us the value it gives us a little more information here so we can see what's going on what value is associated how many there are in comparison but what's cool about this is we actually can see the distribution by selecting the ellipsis over here on the right hand side and so if you click this ellipsis I can actually change this and group by a specific value or the length of the text and so if I click the text link here notice that it's going to give me a distribution similar to what I see over here in this length column so it's going to give me this distribution but the benefit of this is that I don't have to create a column and so that I can see that this contains the value of four so the length of four and there are six of those for 11 percent of the data and so this gives me a little more information without having to create that extra column remember any time that we create additional columns in our model this is going to take up space so if I create this column for length this is going to create more usage of the data it's going to create a bigger data model because there are more columns with inside of this table so by turning on that column profile here and changing the group by we can get an understanding of the distribution without having to change the data model itself we can get an understanding of the values that occur the length with inside of this column profile so let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question 
Our test prep question says you are creating a report in the Power BI desktop. You load data extract that includes a free text field named column one. You need to analyze the frequency distribution of the string lengths in column one. The solution must not affect the model size. What should you do? So there's a couple things that we have to understand here. First and foremost, let's get an understanding of what we're trying to accomplish. We want a frequency distribution of the string lengths. So this means that this is going to be the length of the text. Okay, so we have a text field called column one. It's the length of the text that we're trying to identify. The other important piece of information is it says the solution must not affect the size of the model, which means that we cannot increase our model size. So let's look at our answer choices here. In the report, add a DAX calculated column that calculates the length of column one. So a calculated column, this is going to store data. So when we're dealing with DAX as a calculated column, this is going to store data in our data model. Now, the requirement was that it cannot affect the size of the model. So because a calculated column is going to store data, it's gonna increase the size of our model. Option A is not going to be the correct answer. Option B says in the report add a DAX function that calculates the average length of column one. So the thing that you need to know about the difference between a calculated column using DAX and a DAX function is a DAX function does not store data. Also known as a measure, a DAX function is known as a measure, and this does not store data. But as we look at the information with inside of this question, it says the average length of column one. Well, that is not what we're trying to identify. We're trying to identify the frequency distribution of the string lengths. So while yes, a DAX function or measure will not store data in our data model, the average length is not what we're trying to calculate in this scenario. So we're gonna go ahead and eliminate option B as well. Option C says from the Power Query Editor, add a column that calculates the length of column one. Well, we saw that once again, we have the ability to do that, but once again, this piece right here, adding a column is going to increase the size of our data model and it that's part of our parameters that cannot be the correct answer. And so option D from the Power Query Editor, change the distribution for the column profile to group by length for column one. That is going to be our correct answer. As we saw, it gives us the ability to group by and find the length of that text. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.